property we're looking at buying, potentially, whether we buy it or an investor buys it or uh, we raise the money from investors, I don't know, but that's it there. Horrible looking thing. Yeah, that's a disgrace. Next door's half decent, to be fair. And um, that one sold for two, uh, sorry, 193,000 back in 2019. We've been told that this would sell for 245 to 250 in good condition, so let's have a look round. That looks all damp, doesn't it? Down there. Well, on the side, it's completely come come off. Yeah. So, whether yeah, what it's is damp that? What is that? It's just some sort of... Awful render. Render, yeah. I've never seen it like that. That's terrible. That might just be grime and dirt as well, you know. If you look at that detail up there, look. Yeah. Above that light. Yeah, yeah. Is that just dirt? Yeah, it could be. We got here and the back door was just ripped off, so. Let yourselves in. Decent sized garden, to be fair. Relatively tidy in comparison to the rest of the place. <laughs> yeah. So next door's pretty decent, to be fair. Done a good job, it's a nice family home. I don't really want to come back kitchen. in here. No, no, it's horrible. It stinks of... It smells of cat piss. Cat piss. It's and great. this is the only toilet in the building, I think. <coughs> Bit Storage. of lining paper to start the job. It's good of them. <laughs> it's horrible, innit? I could actually wear a mask in here, and I am a mask wearer. Nah, big pussy cat, are you? Yeah, it stinks bad. There's cat size in it, cats and dogs. It's disgusting. Yeah, there's signs of wear and tear everywhere, isn't there? Wear and tear's putting it mildly. Under the stairs. Probably the main bedroom, I'd say. Listen to this here. Damp. Yeah, condensation everywhere. It's because the roof's knackered. Yeah, yeah. That's probably the main bedroom. Third bedroom, smallest one, just a box room. Windows are knackered as well, all need changing. How are you doing? How are you doing? How are you doing? Back doors open. Yeah, yeah. I've been to Webster. How are you doing? How are you doing? Second bedroom. Yeah, side door was wide open. Was it? Yeah. Good start. Good start. Nice garden there, to be fair. They've done a good job next door. Yeah, it is a lovely garden, that. Nice family garden. So, that's the lot. Not pretty, not beautiful at all, but there's profit in there somewhere. We're trying to push 130 on that. We think we could sell it for two, four, five, two, fifty done up. With a new roof and everything, we're looking at probably around 50 grand on that. Um, not massive margins, but we might just flip it through the auction room, so I'll talk about it later. So what do you think about the deal in Hensford? The deal in Hensford? The one we've just been and saw um, this morning. It looks prime for an auction lot, do we? Yep. Um, How much work you reckon is to be done there? A lot. Pretty much everything you can think of, isn't it? It's doing everything. Roof, again, rendering. Again, inside. That new you can windows. Think of. Everything. New windows, doors. All internal work that you can imagine. Um, as standard, you'd have to tidy up the garden. 
you've got the rendering like you say your new roof depending on if you're looking to sell it on the open market to a mom and dad you'd probably have to do a drive as well wouldn't you yeah you would yeah otherwise it's just going to look daft in it you yeah. spent all that time and money and energy going into something and then you leave the drive like it is yeah yeah, yeah yeah so it's a full job isn't it mm. other than building the fucking thing <laughs> it's a complete head to toe top to bottom refurb yeah but you're pushing what 55 60 grand what do you reckon I suppose it just depends what market you're looking to hit, doesn't it? But yeah, or even just a base reef, uh, you know, a basic refurb. Excuse me a moment. Um, I would say a good 50, 60 grand. If you feel it's worth spending another 10 grand to put an extra 20, 30 grand on the end value, I suppose you make, that, you make your mind up before yep. you start, don't you? If you can get it for 130, you spend let's say 60 on it, you're up to 190. Plus your fees, you're probably up to around 195, 196. There's a two, margin. Two forty two. There is a margin there at 130, you know. Yeah. Absolutely. It's a nice deal, isn't it? I mean, the more you look at stuff like that, and you've got an appreciation of how long. Um, a refurb like that can take even if you get it done reasonably quick let's say two months for argument's sake mm. and then you're at the, because you've spent, spent the money on it you've got to sell it in the open market to a mum and dad you're factoring the amount of time, time. that that takes yeah. you can clearly see why people trade because you could be in and out of there make 20 grand and it take six to eight weeks in total mm. Mm. you're not really taking any risk there's no drain on your time and no drain on your capital. Yeah, that's what I would do. It's, Get it into 130, sense, put it? it into auction. And if you can line up more and more of those types of deals, hopefully yeah. like we can with the guy that you know, Yeah. you could probably make the 40 or 50 grand that you would have made from doing a full refurb and flip by just doing two, two and a half of those deals just trading it. Mm. Yeah. in probably the same amount of time or less yep. if you factor in how long it'll take to sell at the back end on the open market to yep. a family for example yep. and it's a drain on your time and resources is it if you've got a big development like we're soon to have underway I think we stick to 130 man you don't, uh, you don't want to waste your resources on stuff do you no and stuff like that Stick to 130, chuck it into auction. It's already cleared out. Tidy up the, the garden and that at the back. Sell it again. Yeah, decent deal. Be about 20 grand profit in there. 